I'm Nick Gans. I'm an assistant professor in electrical engineering at the University of Texas at Dallas. I was always really interested in science and math growing up. Um, it was my favorite classes, and I did a lot of uh, things on my own, you know, chemistry kits, built a robot in, you know, sixth grade science fair. Uh, my research is very diverse. I have a number of projects, but they center around autonomous systems, robotics, uh, and control using vision. So vision is the most uh, natural and prevalent sense for most humans. And so it becomes very useful for trying to use uh, vision as a input for control of robots and vehicles, et cetera. It's a very rich data source. There's a lot of information you can extract from vision. It's challenging though, because it's also what we call like a very noisy source, that there is a tremendous amount of information that is superfluous and unnecessary, so it's difficult to winnow out what your system really needs to understand. This research into vision-based control can have a number of immediate impacts. One of the main ones we're working on is driver assistance and autonomous vehicles. That the current systems have a tremendous number of sensors, including sonar, laser, radar, which makes the systems very expensive and not really uh, achievable for current deployment widely. But if we can use simply cameras, then we can make this much cheaper and affordable to the wider public. The number one thing that we'll see quickly, the number one way robotics will make an impact will be autonomous vehicles. There are estimates that within the next 15 years, over 50% of the vehicles will be autonomous or partially autonomous. Uh, looking broader, we can have systems that are able to operate in the homes, in communities, um, in natural environments with people safely uh, and cheaply, again, by using these cameras.